close your eyes. Watch your breath. Take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing. And then try to stay right there. As for other things like the noise of the birds or the noise of your own thoughts, just let that go through. Think of your awareness like the big screen on a window. The wind goes through, but the screen doesn't catch the wind. But the wind doesn't blow the screen away. You want to be right here, because the mind needs a good, solid foundation. Otherwise it gets knocked off balance very easily. Things you like come your way and you go running after the things you like. Things you don't like come and you go running after the things you don't like. The mind is never really independent. But in order to look at its life, to decide which things are worth following, which things are not, you have to be able to step back. So the breath gives you a place to step back from your thoughts, step back from everything around you. And ask yourself, which direction do you want to go? Which energies, which currents of the world do you want to follow? That way you're more in control. Because otherwise your life goes on automatic pilot. Decisions made a long time ago just keep having the same control over what you're doing now, because you never question them, you never step back from them. But it's good to step back, to get your bearings, to get a perspective. Because some of those decisions were made when you didn't really know that much. Now that you're older and more adult, you have a better perspective on life. But this perspective hasn't really seeped deep down into the mind yet. So we give the mind a place to stay, we give it a comfortable place to stay so that it loosens up a lot of its old habit patterns and can watch things come and go and decide which things are worth going with and which things you just let go on their own. And this way you're in control of your life. It's like being in control of your own car as you're driving. You want to know where you want to go and how to get there. And there are going to be lots of other roads that would lead to lots of other places, and lots of places you can actually get off the road. But you have to be very clear about what you want out of life, which roads lead where. Because things that come up in the mind, they don't just sit there. They have an impact. Their roads lead in different directions. So you want to make sure you're following the right roads. <laughs>